So this girl here is the 19th most venomous snake on earth. And I think one of the prettiest venomous snakes in all of Australia. So stick around guys. In this week's video, we're having a look at the Colette's black snake. This video is brought to you by Snake Snap, a downloadable app for your phone where you can submit a photo of any snake found in the United States or even here in Australia and get that photo identified by a real life expert. On top of that, she's chock-a-block full of loads of interesting information. So for more info, check out snakesnap.com, find them on Facebook, or download the app today. So this is Jasmine, and as I said, she's what we call a Colette's black snake. Now, depending on where you grew up or, or what books you read, you might know her as a Downs tiger, Downs cobra, or a Jaffa snake, of course, due to this beautiful orange colour. Now, this species is found in north-central Queensland, up in the black soil country between sort of Charville, Cloncurry, and Huendon where it gets up over 50 degrees or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this area has to be one of the most inhospitable parts of Australia, not only because of the extreme temperature, but because of the extreme boom and bust cycle they have out there. During winter or the dry season, they have no rain whatsoever and the ground literally cracks open. The black soil breaks open because of the heat and this is where these guys spend their dry seasons, hiding down the bottom of the cracks. Come summertime or the wet season, the rain almost doesn't stop and all those cracks seal up or flood and suddenly these guys are having to come up above ground and find other places to live. In environments like this, it's not just hard for the snakes to eke out a living. It's also hard for their food sources as well. So these guys eke out a living eating anything from plague rats to snakes to frogs, even other Colette's black snakes. These guys are known as cannibals. As far as breeding goes, these guys lay between seven to 14 eggs, just like most of the black snakes do. And they hatch out between October and November. And these guys happen to have the biggest babies of the whole black snake family, over a foot long, 37 centimeters. Now, because of the big size and the time they're hatching out, they're able to take advantage of the time that all the frogs are breeding as well. They get as much food as they can in before the rain goes away, the food dries up. And just like mum and dad, they've got to go and hide down in the cracks in the black soil. Not only are these guys born big babies, they can grow up to be pretty big snakes as well. Male Colette's black snakes can get up over two and a half meters long, and the girls can still push over two meters. They generally mature at under a meter and a half, but just like people can get eight foot tall from time to time, these guys can grow to be very large venomous snakes. Speaking of being venomous, like I said at the beginning, these guys are the 19th most venomous snake on the planet. But due in part to their reluctant nature to bite, and also to their remote location, the fact that not many people encounter them in the wild, there's actually never been a bite on the record from a wild Colette's black snake. There has, however, been several bites in captivity, both private keepers and in zoos and wildlife parks. The fact that these guys grow to be a large size, have got a beautiful colour, and they're fairly easy going as far as Australian venomous snakes goes, means that they're quite commonly kept by private people and in zoos and wildlife parks. And so there is a couple of bites on the record from these guys. And the information we do have on Colette's black snake bites, the immediate symptoms are things like intense local pain around the bite site, vomiting and diarrhea. It affects your stomach. But once you get to hospital, within the first 24 hours or so, you start to have muscle breakdown. Your muscles turn to goop and your kidneys have to filter it out, and then they start to fail. So a lot of bites from Colette's black snakes require kidney dialysis to survive. Fortunately, Colette's black snake bites can be treated very, very effectively using black snake antivenine and even tiger snake antivenine. Now because of proper antivenine and because of proper first aid, there's never actually been a death from the Colette's black snake. But there has been some funny side effects from these guys. Several bite victims have reported losing their sense of smell for years and even permanently. And there's even one case of somebody losing their short-term memory after a bite from a Colette's black. Despite these fearsome venomous facts, these guys, like I said, are pretty uninclined to bite. They're a relatively relaxed snake, but the bites that have happened have almost without section happened at feed time. These guys aren't an aggressive snake. They're not a mean animal, but they love their food. And while we can take some liberties handling this girl out in the field, at home when it's food time, no hand can go in her enclosure. She'll bite anything that moves. So it doesn't take much to make a big mistake. That being said, She's a beautiful snake, and she's one that most Australians have probably never heard of, let alone people from around the world. So I hope you found this interesting, meeting the Colette's black snake, our Jasmine. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, 
And if you want to see more videos come out more regularly, support us on Patreon. The help from our patrons are what's helping keeping us going during this COVID-19 epidemic when we can't take our animals out to visit people. And to pay our thanks for that, we're doing our best to put out two videos a week instead of one. So every Wednesday you'll have our species spotlights you're used to. And on Mondays we're doing behind the scenes and questions and answers. And this week we did our story, how I got involved with wildlife. So check that out. Other than that, guys, check on back next week. And between now and then, be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.